Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Another beautiful day across the area. We did have a little bit of smoke in some areas, hazy conditions, but besides that, mostly sunny skies and temperatures warm once again, unseasonally warm by about 5, 15 degrees for your afternoons, but chilly in your overnight. Look at that Boulder Creek got down below freezing at 29 degrees. It's been chilly the last few nights and it is going to stay that way for the next couple of nights as well. Some mid 30s and some upper 30s along the coast around the Monterey Bay, but some 70s for your afternoon, mid 70s in Watsonville, as well as Carmel. Carmel Valley got up to 80 degrees once again. It's been a warm one. We're going to start to see those temperatures dropping off just a hair. However, staying warm considering the time of year. Look at this. You can see Salinas all the way down to King City in those mid 70s for today. Temperatures chilly to start and tomorrow is going to be very similar where you're going to want to dress in layers throughout the day, especially in our inland areas. Still a little chill in the air up in the San Francisco Bay Area as well. You can see some 30s for earlier this morning in San Jose, 30 degrees in Gilroy. Got up to 70 and in Gilroy, 72 in Hollister earlier this afternoon. Much warmer than what our friends off towards the east are seeing. You can see that chill there. Right now, temperatures have dropped off into the 20s and teens in some areas. And we're sitting in the warmest region right now due to that high pressure that's sticking with us. 65 right now in Phoenix, Southern California, dealing with those 60s as well. You can see that ridge. You can also see that dip in the jet stream. Snowfall still continuing in parts of the Ohio Valley into the northeast. So let's be grateful that we're seeing sunshine, even though it's the end of fall, almost winter, but we're seeing some summer-like conditions with those warm temperatures, temperatures in the 80s in the south, and unfortunately very strong winds still, and those are fueling these fires down towards the south. Ventura and Los Angeles County fires, yes, they are still burning, unfortunately, firefighters working hard, but Mother Nature is really preventing any rainfall and also keeping those winds howling. The Thomas Fire in Ventura County is one of the biggest concerns, the biggest fire, as we've been talking about. Low humidity, relative humidity, less than 10%. That's just not good. Plus, those winds coming in offshore and continuing to... Uh, howl around 20 miles per hour for sustained winds and then gusting up to 40 or 50 miles per hour. Temperatures warm as well in the 70s and 80s. We go a little farther south to the lilac fire that is still burning as well. Winds are going to be gusty down there around 45 miles per hour and low humidity in that region. So unfortunately, we're still going to see the threat of fires being possible. I know you hate to hear it and we hate to remind you, but don't light fires. Don't throw cigarettes ever, but especially when conditions are like this. And even though we're not in the red or in the bays showing those fire weather watches and warnings, we still need to be on guard because it is so dry all across the state. Also, unhealthy conditions down towards the south. I know they've been dealing with that thick smoke and then we've been seeing some of that as well. It's been a little hazy and we are going to have some moderate conditions when it comes to our air quality, especially in our southern areas, southern parts of the central coast dealing with that. High pressure sticking with us. That's keeping us on the sunny side. We do have some clouds, a little bit of moisture in the ocean, but it's going to stay out that way. We're going to have high pressure sticking with us and it's not looking like it's going to budge this week, but maybe by the weekend we'll start to see some changes and you're really going to start to feel it by next week this time. I think temperatures will finally drop off. We're going to watch a wave of energy coming in from the north low pressure system. It's going to bring some moisture maybe to the Pacific Northwest, but not here, not California. No, nope, we're still going to see the sunshine and unfortunately those high winds as well. Tonight's temperatures 30 degrees in some of our cooler areas. You've been getting used to that and then some 40s, maybe close to 50 degrees in some of our coastal communities. We do have to keep mention of the areas of smoke and then we are going to be seeing that tomorrow as well. Mostly sunny skies, a few high clouds as well. Temperature is similar to today with 40s and 30s to start. Gilroy looks like another chilly one for you all the way down to Hollister with temperatures near 70 for the afternoon though. And then for the Salinas Valley, you're going to be sitting in the mid 70s once again and a chilly start. So keep that jacket handy in the morning and then you're going to want some short sleeves for the afternoon once again because in the sunshine, it does feel quite nice. But in the shade and where there's a little wind and once the sun goes down, yeah, it does cool down. Temperatures tomorrow, Scotts Valley, one of our warmest spots, still going to be close to 80 degrees. I think most of us stay in the 70s though for most of this week. Now you are going to start to notice a gradual cooling trend for both our high temperatures and then our low temperatures as well. 
Here you can see by the end of the week, at the end of the our eight day forecast, we're going to start to reintroduce some clouds. No, we're not expecting rain yet in the eight day forecast, but the beginning of winter is just over a week away and looks like we are going to be seeing a chance of some real wet weather. Hopefully not just drizzles, but hopefully some significant rainfall by the beginning of winter. But we have to deal with this for one more week, <laughs> the dry conditions, and hopefully we'll start to see some calmer winds, especially down south. Yeah, we need some. We need some moisture. Calmer, so. yeah, calmer winds and moisture. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Just All wait right. one more week. How about that quiz? <laughs>